Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily uploads, and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, what we're going to be doing is updating my top three best guard builds on NBA 2K22 current gen. Um, the game has evolved a lot since the first day that a game came out. Obviously, we are now in season six. There's been multiple patches. And the thing is, is this is that, as we all know, with the final patch that I'm thinking this is it, there's not really much that can be doing left to the game. Being small is going to be the key, all right? So left writing is by far the most overpowered thing on the game right now on current and next gen. That's all these guards do. They run to the left, then they stop, they run to the right, and then they keep on doing that. They get a screen, and then they shoot a three, right? That's kind of how it is. And EA, regardless, that's the meta. And go and if you want to make the best builds, that is what you have to do. So obviously, we're going to go different pie charts here. But um, let's get into this first build. Uh, this first build is going to be the two-way slashing playmaker. It's an extremely rare build. Um, and it's also really, really, really good. It's a really good build. You don't see a lot of it. Um, with the name but again if you want to get the best slashing type build you want to go this route you want to go shooting guard for all builds because it gives you the best badge and attribute distribution so you want to go there doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed um and of course the pie chart we're going with first is going to be the mostly shooting and the little bit of i'm sorry the mostly finishing and a little bit of shooting okay and then what you want to do is go pure speed all right we know speed kills you want to go up the piss the fast you can so go pure speed Max out close shot, driving layup in your driving dunk. Then you want to go 51 on your standing for 16. Then max out your mid-range, your three-point shot, and your free throw. That's going to give you 16. Then you want to max out your pass accuracy, your ball handling. Then go 57, and that's going to get you 16. And you can already get a gist of how good this build is because it's so well balanced. Max out the perimeter, your ladder quickness, and your steal. Max out your defensive rebound and that five left over put on your offensive. And now you have 16, 16, 16 to six. Like it's a really, really, really good, really good balance build. All right. And then what you want to do with your um, body type is you want to go built because we're going to be like going really, really, really um, skinny, like going as much as we can. You can go between 6'3 to 6'1. The reason why I go 6-1 is because I want to have as much speed as I possibly can. So 6-1 is definitely, to me, the best sweet spot for this build. Now, a lot of people um, will go, like I said, between 6-3 to 6-1. Some will easily go shorter to 6 feet. But I like 6-1 because it's going to give me as, as much speed as I possibly can, give me more steel, and I'm still able to get contact dunks. Okay? So then you want to go ahead, lower your weight all the way down to 165. And then, of course, you want to get your wingspan and you want to max it all the way out. So now let's look at some things. You do get a plus eight to your physicals. Um, you get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall. And then you get the other plus four by either going into my career getting Gym Rat or either going to the Gatorade facility, talking to the guy and, and getting a quest for Gym Rat or just every seven days going to the Gatorade facility and doing your workouts. But regardless, you're going to get a 98 speed and a 98 acceleration in the 80 vert. And to me, that is just like un forgivable type of speed for a slashing build would it be nice to have 99 yeah but if you don't have 99 what's the next big thing to get uh 98 right so you're better get that and of course when you get slashing takeover you get a plus 10 to your speed so you got 108 right already so like it's op then you're finishing shooting playmaking defense slash rebound you also get a plus four here so yes you will get an 85 driving dunk that will allow you to get all the pro contact dunk animations you also will have an 81 mid-range shot and a ridiculous 79 three ball and then look at your ball handle you have an 88 ball handle so you are able to get all the elite um, elite dribble animations of course you're able to momentum dribble with this build but what's really solid about this build is that it does have really good defense so an 82 perimeter defense 79 lateral quickness and check this out an 88 steel 
topping off with a 68 defensive rebound. So again, this build is really good. 6-1 to 6-3 is what you want to go with. That's the sweet spot. If you don't want to go 6-1, that's perfectly fine. Just understand you're not going to be as fast. So you want to be, be able to have be as fast as you possibly can because that is the meta. You have a plethora of choices here, but we know slashing takeover is the best ba um, takeover badge. So we're going to go here with that. And here you have it, my nephews and nieces. We have a two-way slashing playmaker okay now obviously due to time constraints we're not going over badges so let's just head over to that second build right now all right my nephews and nieces so now we're looking at the second build and of course the second build we're going with the hall of fame shooting hall of fame playmaking so you already know what build this is this is going to be a playmaking shot creator it is still one of the most dominant builds on the game it's all about preference i still feel like two-way slashing playmaker is godly because you're able to get contact dunks and finish at the rim and you can surely shoot at a high rate Play shots are just is just what makes them so good is that they can shoot and they have Hall of Fame playmaking badges. So um, again, shooting guard, we're going with the playmaking and shooting like we talked about. And then we're gonna go with that pure speed, okay? Go with that pure speed. And then what we're gonna do here is that we're just gonna max out our driving layup and our driving dunk, that's it. Then we're gonna max out our mid-range shot, our three-point shot, our free throw. And then we're gonna go 78 on our post fade for 25 shooting. We're gonna max out the pass accuracy and the ball handle. Then we're gonna go 62 on the post control. And then we max out the perimeter, the lateral quickness, the steals, the defensive rebounds, and then the offensive rebound at seven. So what you're looking at is one, 25, 23, and seven. Again, an extremely great bad stack. You can't ask for anything better than that. It's really, 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 really dominant, okay? And then well, again, like I said, we wanna go built because we're gonna lower our weight a lot. Again, you wanna go 6'1". I always say like 6'1 is the sweet spot here. So go 6'1". You do wanna drop your weight all the way down to 165. Okay, now what you're gonna see here is that, and then of course your wingspan, I max it all the way out, right? Because I like to get the defense. Look at your defense when you see it's all said and done. I just believe having your wingspan max all the way out is always the smartest and best thing to do because it, it helps you out tremendously on the defensive side. But some people love to go T-Rex arms. And again, as you see, the three-point shot is really, really good. You can go either or, but just look at the defense when you max out your wingspan. I think it's ridiculous to have an 88 steal, 80 perimeter defense and 80 ladder quickness on a play shot. You still get a respectable 87 three ball. So to me, it just makes sense to max out the wingspan. And of course, in your physicals, you get 99 speed, 99 acceleration. It's godly. Um, and then again, we talked about the 87 three ball, 92 ball handle and pass accuracy. You cannot ask for a more dominant build than this one here. If you're talking about the best builds, the two-way slashing playmaker and this play shot are really godly, man. They're really, really good builds. You can't go wrong with that. And of course you have options here. This one gives you the option for lock take. So as you know, with my build and also, you know, my, my really, really good friend, LaMonsta, we both have play shots that have lock take. We just love lock take. I mean, we just love defense. So to us, that's why we always go lock take. You could go sharp, um, sharp also. A lot of people use sharp. It's all about preference, but it's between these two. But I have lock take, so I go a lock take, but it's definitely your call and preference. And even got shades of Allen Iverson. Like you can't ask for anything better than that playmaking shot creator right so now let's head over to this third and final build and then of course we'll get you out of here right all right my nephews and nieces so now we're looking at the last and final build now when you're looking at pie charts the best pie charts are going to be the hall of fame shooting playmaking that we just did with the play shot you're also going to look at the mostly finishing and the shooting or just the hall of fame split split with the shooting and defense but yeah let me just go through it real quick all right so what the best page pie charts are these like you know is this pie chart here and this two these two pie charts inter interchangeable depending on what you want all right and then of course when it comes to guards i mean then it's going to be between these two right here okay these two right here also are for the best guard stuff right but then a lot of people know that playmaking pie chart is really really great right it's a really great pie chart right but the problem is the shooting isn't high enough but if you still want to have hall of fame you're cool with having a hall of fame pure hall of fame playmaking then go to this pie chart right here it's still going to give you pure hall of fame playmaking but it's going to give you a little bit better shooting but you get the benefits of being a pure playmaker but you just don't have to worry about the shooting so yes we are going to be making a pure playmaker build here and again these are the three best builds right it's not a debate i mean i know people got their opinions just like i got mine but i feel like these are the three best guard builds go pure speed right and then you kind of make it just like a play shot max out your driving layup and driving dunk max out your mid-range your three-point shot and your free throw go 53 on your post fade for 17 shooting 
Max out your pass accuracy, your ball handle, go 64. With your post control, it gets you 26. And this build right here is gonna give you a little bit more defense. It's gonna give you seven, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, eight. You'll have eight defensive badges um, compared to how the two-way slash and playmaker had six, the um, play shot had seven, and then the playmaker has eight, all right? The downside of like, if you wanted to talk about the pros and cons of every single build, right? The two-way slash and playmaker gets contact dunks. If you want contact dunks with 90 speed, go that route, okay? The play shot is gonna give you the 99 speed, but also give you the Hall of Fame shooting, okay? So that's what you want, then by all means go with that. The playmaker, the benefit of the playmaker is it does give you more defense, but it's gonna be really fast, right? It's gonna give you a ton of playmaking badges, okay? You're still gonna be able to shoot at a high mark, all right? But then also, it is going to give you 99 speed and you're able to be a little bit taller because you are gonna have 99 speed, okay? So keep that in mind. If you look in between the three, you do wanna go build here. Obviously, you wanna go 6'2". You can go, like I said, you can go up to 6'3", but 6'2 is a sweet spot. Like I said, 6'1", 6 6'2". 6 as long as you can get 98 speed or higher, <coughs> excuse me, you're good, but you wanna try to hit that 99. So that's what we're gonna do here. Go 170, all right? And as you see right there, you're gonna have ridiculous amount of speed. And then, of course, you wanna go 82 on 82.1. Don't go 83, just go 82.1, trust me. The reason why you wanna do that is because the big difference is you're gonna see is that you're gonna get an 85 three ball right here on a pure playmaking build. Like this is a pure playmaker, right? It's a pie chart of yellow, but you'll have an 85 three ball. If you go here, yes, yeah, an 84, and that's all good and dandy. But my thing is, is that nothing really changes. You get, yes, you're still drops from 82 to 81, but the benefit of having that 85 threshold is just like game breaking. You wanna have that. So you're gonna go ahead and go, well, in my opinion, you should go with the 82.1. All right, and then of course you have the option, but again, this is a pure playmaker, but now you can get sharp take with this, and I think that's the biggest point. If you max out your wingspan, you do not get sharp take. So let's go here, you do not get sharp take, right? You don't get it. But if you go by one, you get an 85 three ball maxed out, you get sharp take, okay? So if you look at it with that plus four, you get an 80 perimeter defense and lateral quickness, you still get a solid 85 steal. A ridiculous 94 ball handle, 95 pass accuracy. We talked about that 85 three ball and the 86 mid-range shot. You get an 83 layup, you get a 68 driving dunk. Like I said, the build is solid all the way around. And then of course, we go sharp take here. And then here you have my nephews and nieces. We have the pure playmaker. Still shades of Allen Iverson, which is crazy, all right? So there you have it, my nephews and nieces. To me, in my opinion, right? These are the three best builds that you can make as a guard on NBA 2K22 current gen. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If there's some builds I left out, if you have an opinion, you know I always wanna know. So please let me know in the comment section. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the Banger Man you know. When I say I'll be back soon on the Banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.